the Great Wall of China, an architectural marvel stretching over 13,000 miles. It's not just a wall, it's a tapestry woven from the threads of empires, battles, and the lives of millions who built and defended it. Join us as we delve into its story, from its humble beginnings to its iconic status as a global landmark. We'll uncover the reasons behind its construction, the dynasties that shaped it, and the strategic brilliance in its design. Get ready to be amazed by the scale, beauty, and sheer audacity of this ancient wonder. Our journey begins around the 5th century BCE, during the Warring States period. China was divided into seven powerful states, Zhao, Qi, Qin, Chu, Han, Wei, and Yan, constantly at war. Each state sought ways to protect its borders and gain an advantage over its rivals. The solution? Walls. These early walls, built from earth and wood, served as defensive barriers, marking territories and providing a first line of defense. Though rudimentary, these early walls represent the genesis of the Great Wall, the first steps in securing China's vast realm. These early walls were symbols of power and authority, requiring the labor of countless workers. They followed the land's contours, maximizing natural defenses and minimizing vulnerabilities. Rammed earth was a common building method, providing a sturdy barrier. Life near these walls was fraught with danger, with soldiers facing harsh conditions and constant threats. Yet, these walls fostered a sense of community and shared purpose, with lives intertwined with defense and vigilance. By the third century BCE, the Qin, led by Ying Zheng, later known as Qin Shi Huang, rose to prominence. Qin Shi Huang was a visionary leader, determined to unify China under a single rule. He saw the existing walls as the foundation for a grander project, ordering their connection and extension. This monumental undertaking required unprecedented manpower and resources, mobilizing hundreds of thousands of laborers, Soldiers, peasants, convicts, and intellectuals were conscripted into service, building the wall that symbolized Qin Shi Huang's power. The Qin Wall was a feat of engineering designed to withstand formidable threats. Built using rammed earth and stone, it stretched across mountains and deserts. Life for the laborers was brutal, with many perishing from exhaustion, disease, or accidents. Despite the hardships, the wall rose, a testament to the collective effort of countless individuals. It symbolized Qin Shi Huang's ambition to secure his empire from external threats, particularly the nomadic Xiongnu people. The Qin Wall was a statement of strength and unity, but its construction came at a heavy price. The massive mobilization of labor impacted the empire's economy and social structure, with families torn apart. Resentment simmered fueled by harsh conditions and the loss of loved ones. The wall stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination, but also as a somber memorial to those who suffered. Despite its imposing presence, the Qin Wall ultimately failed to prevent the dynasty's downfall, collapsing shortly after Qin Shi Huang's death. The fall of the Qin Dynasty didn't diminish the Great Wall's significance. The Han Dynasty, recognizing the wall's strategic value, embarked on a new chapter in its evolution. Their focus shifted to securing the Silk Road, a vital artery of commerce and cultural exchange. The Han emperors extended and fortified the wall, pushing it further westward to protect trade routes. This expansion was about defense, projecting power, and facilitating the smooth flow of goods and people across Central Asia. Under the Han Dynasty, the Great Wall adapted to the challenges of the Silk Road. Construction techniques evolved, incorporating local materials and adapting to diverse terrain. Fortified watchtowers were strategically placed, serving as lookout points and signaling stations. Supply depots ensured soldiers had access to essential supplies, crucial for sustaining the wall's defenses. Life on the wall for Han soldiers was harsh and isolated, 
but they played a vital role in safeguarding the Empire's frontiers. The Han Dynasty's efforts extended beyond the wall's construction. They established military outposts and colonies, creating trading hubs and defensive strongholds. Diplomacy and military campaigns secured safe passage for caravans, with figures like General Ban Chao negotiating treaties. The Silk Road flourished, facilitating a vibrant exchange of goods, ideas and cultures. The Han Dynasty's expansion and fortification of the Great Wall secured the Silk Road, ushering in a golden age of trade and cultural exchange. Centuries passed, dynasties rose and fell, and the Great Wall continued to evolve. By the 14th century, the Ming Dynasty emerged, determined to restore Han Chinese rule and secure the Empire's borders. The Ming emperors saw the Great Wall as a symbol of their power and a testament to their commitment to protection. They embarked on the most extensive reconstruction of the wall using durable materials and innovative techniques. The Great Wall as we know it today is largely a product of the Ming Dynasty's vision and engineering prowess. The Ming Dynasty's approach combined pragmatism and ambition, creating a formidable and enduring wall. They used brick and stone, recognizing their superior strength and longevity. Sophisticated foundation techniques ensured stability, especially along mountainous terrain. Thousands of laborers, including skilled artisans, coordinated efforts to build the wall section by section. The result was a structure of remarkable scale and precision, a testament to the Ming Dynasty's engineering prowess. The Ming Dynasty transformed the Great Wall into an architectural marvel, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The wall snaked across rugged landscapes, adapting to mountains, valleys and plains. Watchtowers were redesigned and strategically positioned. These multi-storied towers provided shelter, lookout points and signalling stations. The Ming Dynasty also built massive gates at strategic locations. Notable gates include Zhuyongguan, Jiayuguan, and Shanghaiguan. The Ming Dynasty's legacy extends beyond the Great Wall. Their efforts fostered economic growth and cultural flourishing. The wall became a unifying element, symbolizing collective strength and resilience. The Ming Dynasty's vision for the Great Wall extended beyond just a barrier. They needed strategic strongholds at key points. This led to the construction of imposing gates each a fortress in its own right. Imagine approaching the Great Wall as a traveler or an enemy scout. These gates signaled the Ming Dynasty's power and authority. They were intricate complexes for defense and control. These gates were meticulously designed defensive fortresses. Zhuyongguan Pass, near Beijing, was a key gateway through a strategic valley. Its construction used the surrounding mountains to bolster defenses. Multiple layers funneled attackers into killing zones. An ingenious communication system used beacon towers. Smoke signals by day, fire beacons by night, relayed messages quickly. As the 17th century dawned, the Ming Dynasty, which had poured so much effort into fortifying the Great Wall, began to weaken from within. Internal strife, economic problems, and a series of natural disasters took their toll leaving the once mighty empire vulnerable. And it was from beyond the wall, from the northeast, that a new threat emerged, the Manchus. The Manchus, a nomadic people from Manchuria, had grown in strength and unity under their ambitious leader, Nurhazi. They had adopted and adapted Chinese military tactics and weaponry, becoming a formidable force capable of challenging the Ming Dynasty's authority. Initially, the Great Wall posed a formidable obstacle to the Manchus. Their attempts to breach the wall through force were met with fierce resistance from Ming defenders. However, the Manchus were patient and cunning strategists. They exploited the Ming dynasty's internal weaknesses, forging alliances with disgruntled Ming generals and officials. In 1644, a pivotal moment in Chinese history occurred. A Ming general, Wu Sangui, facing a rebel army within China, made a fateful decision. He opened the gates of Shanghai Guan, the first pass under heaven, to the Manchus, hoping to enlist their aid in crushing the rebellion. 
This act, a betrayal of the Ming dynasty, would have far-reaching consequences. The Manchus, seizing the opportunity presented by Wu Sangui's defection, swept through Shanhaiguan and into the heartland of China. The Ming dynasty, weakened by internal strife and betrayed from within, crumbled rapidly. The Manchus established the Qing dynasty, marking the beginning of a new era in Chinese history. The Qing dynasty, unlike its predecessors, did not view the Great Wall as the primary line of defense. The Manchus, having originated from beyond the wall, understood the limitations of static defenses. They recognized that a mobile and adaptable military force was more effective in maintaining control over their vast and diverse empire. Moreover, the Qing dynasty's territory expanded far beyond the traditional boundaries of China, encompassing Manchuria, Mongolia, Tibet, and Xinjiang. The Great Wall, once the northern frontier, now lay within the empire's interior, its strategic importance diminished by the Qing dynasty's vast territorial holdings. While the Qing dynasty continued to maintain and garrison portions of the Great Wall, its role shifted from a primary defensive barrier to a symbol of imperial authority and a means of controlling trade and migration within the empire. The Great Wall, once a testament to the Ming dynasty's power, became a reminder of a bygone era a poignant symbol of the shifting tides of history, the Great Wall of China, no longer a bulwark against invading armies, took on a new significance. It became a powerful symbol of China's enduring strength, a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of its people. No longer a forbidding barrier, it transformed into a site of pilgrimage, a place where visitors could walk in the footsteps of emperors and soldiers. In 1987, the Great Wall of China earned its place as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its outstanding universal value. Today, the Great Wall draws millions of visitors each year from all corners of the globe. They come to connect with history and experience the awe-inspiring grandeur of this architectural masterpiece. The passage of time, while unable to diminish the Great Wall's symbolic power, has taken its toll on its physical structure. Centuries of exposure to the elements, erosion, and human activity have left their mark. Some sections of the wall lie in ruins, reclaimed by nature, while others face threats from urbanization and unsustainable tourism practices. However, the spirit of preservation burns brightly. The Chinese government, along with international organizations and dedicated individuals, are committed to safeguarding the Great Wall for future generations. Preservation efforts focus on a multi-pronged approach, combining traditional restoration techniques with modern technology. Sections of the wall, particularly those near major tourist areas, have undergone meticulous restoration, using materials and techniques similar to those employed by the original builders. These efforts aim to stabilize the structure, prevent further deterioration, and provide visitors with a glimpse into the wall's former glory. Preservation goes beyond just bricks and mortar. It involves raising awareness about the importance of responsible tourism, educating visitors about the wall's history and significance, and fostering a sense of shared responsibility for its protection. Local communities, once reliant on the wall for defense, now play a vital role in its preservation, acting as stewards of this shared cultural heritage.